Welcome to the James Whale Radio Show on jameswhaleradio.com. James James Whale on jameswhaleradio.com. Hi, Whale is on. Good evening, my friends, or whatever time of day or night around the world you're listening uh, to the James Whale podcast, blog, or online radio show. Have your say. Call us now on 0871-0500-818. Starting next week, I'm back on radio on Tuesday nights, and I'll be telling you right here where you can see it. Thursday mornings, I'm on doing Sky uh, with Eamon and the newspaper reviews. And uh, tomorrow, uh, being Tuesday, I'm doing the politics show on BBC Two at about 12 o'clock. I think it's 12 o'clock anyway. So uh, find out politics show with Andrew Neal. And what else am I doing? Well, I'm doing BidUp.TV. And when I'm actually on BidUp.TV, I'll let you know you can ring in and buy stuff. That'll be good fun. I'm looking forward to that. James Wills. 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 I have had a terrible, terrible weekend. I had to uh, go up to Yorkshire uh, just to give my son a bit of help with the uh, child support agency. He's having he's having a bit of a struggle with the child support agency, like a lot of people are. I won't go into I won't go into too many details, but if you read my book, Almost a Celebrity, published by Michael O'Mara, it tells the story in there. Anyway, he's um, he's uh, being asked for more money than he really. Has got, well, he hasn't got any money, bless him, but he's been asked to pay out more and more money for children that he doesn't see. In fact, to be fair, he doesn't even know where they are at the moment. Now, this hearing with the Child Support Agency today had nothing to do with that, but he wanted me to go along uh, just in case he got a bit tongue-tied and, uh, and have a chat. And, of course, as usual, uh, although I have to say the magistrates in this case were fairly uh, on the ball, one, who stared continually over her glasses at me. I gave the evil eye to I wasn't going to have that. But the other two magistrates were fairly sympathetic. Uh, the only problem I have in magistrates court is the, uh, the legal advisor to the magistrates, who, when I actually spoke, I was told I didn't have any right to speak in the court. I said, well, just pretend it isn't the court and just pretend I'm a normal human being and I just want to say something that may, uh, may help you. No, no, no. I said, look, don't talk to I got into terrible arguments in there. Anyway, suffice to say, the child support agency don't know their ass from their bloody elbow, do they? They don't know which way is forward. Hopefully, they might get something sorted out for them, but these people don't seem to know the amount of upset and anguish that they cause. And it's not just my son, it's not my wife or myself who don't get to see our grandchildren or two of them, but it must be everybody in that situation. He's not saying he won't pay for his children. Of course he'll pay. But the amount of money they seem to want out of him means that he won't have any money to pay for the children from his other. It just, it gets worse and worse and worse. And whoever came up with these ideas, I thought the child support agency was going to be closed down because it wasn't working. Oh, that's another, that's another promise we were given, is it? By the, um, by the bloody stupid prattish politicians. Uh, so I've had a bad day. I'm in a bit of a bad mood, so I must be careful. James Will on JamesWillRadio.com. If opinions count, this man must be a mathematical genius. Hey, listen, I've got to thank everybody. I, I, I heard on, on BBC News 24, apparently there's a big petition going around that's had hundreds of thousands of people uh, saying that uh, they're, they're most upset about the way... I've disappeared from talk sport. Listen, guys, thank you so much. And I've had such great support in the press. I can't tell. I didn't surprise. I didn't, I didn't think it would happen. It surprised me totally. I mean, uh, my old boss, Kelvin McKenzie, uh, Richard Little, John, um, and loads of other people who've, uh, who've been writing things. I would single out uh, one particular person who, when I'm at liberty to, to tell the whole story behind this, I will a man called Tony Stoller. He's a retired Ofcom regulator. I'm so glad, Mr. Stoller, you're retired. That's all I have to say. Uh, And I read your piece in The uh, Guardian, Mr. Stoller, 
uh, it seems to me that you don't actually understand what on earth broadcasting is all about. And you certainly, certainly don't understand about free speech and humor. Which maybe it's about time we did, and it's about time we had people in this country who could speak their mind, who were not hindered by ridiculously stupid rules. Not that I've ever considered that I have ever breached any uh, anything at all. I've always said things I thought in a fairly humorous and sarcastic way, but uh, obviously uh, somebody somewhere wants me stopped. Never mind. Have your say. Call us now on 0871 0500 818. Here on jameswhaleradio.com, we continue, uh, and I hope that you will help support us. We are at the moment um, looking for sponsors and advertisers so that we can go live on this site, not only live on radio, but live visually as well. And so we're, uh, we'll be taking uh, TV as well as radio commercials. And uh, if there are any prospective advertisers, please get in touch. Uh, create an account and uh, also do links from, uh, if, you, if you've got other social networking sites, if you're on Facebook or uh, wherever you happen to be, uh, create a, a link to us. That would be amazing. Uh, and maybe uh, check out your own Sim Street site. Get on Sim Street and uh, create your own own social networking site. See what we can do for you. James Will on JamesWillRadio.com. Silence was never an option. Any emails, we're grateful to receive them. And uh, any of you who want to make your views known, please do. We love to to put some of them on the site. 0871 050 0818. That's 0871 050 0818 uh, jameswhaleradio.com that's where you can get on air with us and the news today has been pretty appalling hasn't it as well I'm, I'm hoping I'll get a few of you and I know, I know how critical you guys can be so I'm looking forward to some uh, critiques on my appearance on tomorrow's uh, on this Tuesday depending when you hear this on this Tuesday's um, politics show with Andrew Neil on BBC2 which I'll be on today I think uh, I think I'm looking forward to that actually. Uh, as I said, I'm hoping next time it's question time, but you never know. Have your say. Call us now on 0871 0500 818. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go now, and I'm going to have a huge drink. Mrs. Whale and I are going to go and sit down somewhere and uh, demolish a couple of bottles of wine because I have to tell you, having spent a morning in court listening to some of the drivel that comes out of certain people's mouths has really done me in. I can't tell you. And I see the government are doing no better, no better at all at anything. So listen, uh, keep in touch, guys, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye. Jesus, 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 Jesus. If you are interested in sponsoring the James Whale Radio Show or would like to advertise on the site, click on the Media Partners link on jameswhaleradio.com.